So for the last part of Module 6 is the forensic examination of printed and photocopied documents. So in the digital era of computer typesetting, electronic fonts, and graphical user interface, Modern digital computers and output devices can conveniently produce images and text on documents. The modern document examiner must have knowledge of operating systems, versions of word processing programs, numerous digital fonts, printer drivers, and their release dates, and others, because this can have an impact on computer-generated documents. He will also need to know how devices place their images and text on documents. So bilang isang modern uh, document examiner, hindi na lang ang um, kailangan alam mo ay uh, yung pag-aaral ng handwriting ng um, handwritten documents or typewritten documents. Kailangan marunong ko na rin, ka na rin sa mga printed documents. Kailangan may alam ka na rin sa computer. So, these are the guidelines in the examination process of computer-generated documents. So, below are questions that can be used to guide the examination process. First, is the document an original or copy? Kailangan matukoy mo yon. Original ba to or copy lang ito? The forensic document examiner should attempt to determine if the evidence is an original machine, printed document, or a machine copy. Original ba na print ito? O ito ay photocopied na lang or machine copy na lang, scanned na lang ba ito? Kailangan marunong kang uh, tumukoy ng ganong klaseng document. Can the printing technology be identified or can it be dated? Matutukay ba natin kailan na iprint ang isang uh, document? Identifying the printing technology means attempting to classify the printing process. Anong uh, proseso ang ginamit, anong ink ang ginamit, anong printer ang ginamit. Microscopic examinations can help determine if the document has been printed in color or black and white using an impact or non-impact process or with toner, wet ink, or another medium. Has more than one technology been used to prepare the document? Isang printer lang ba ang ginamit o higit sa isa? The question usually applies to documents with reinsertions and page substitutions. Pag sinabi nating reinsertion, a document is placed back into a printer after the parties have signed and agreed to the terms in the document. So, pinread yung document. Uh, pinirmahan na. So, ang ginawa, yung nakapirma na, ipinasok ulit sa printer, tapos uh, naglagay ulit ng mga paragraphs. May in-edit, kumbaga may dinagdag, may kaya tinawag na reinsertion, in-insert siya ulit doon sa printer at nag-print ulit. Okay. The question portion is printed with a different printer and can be differentiated from the surrounding text. So for example, this is your whole document. If yung upper part, sure kayo na part yun ng original, then yung lower part, hindi kayo sure kung kasama yun doon sa original, then of course, yung lower part na yun, that will become questioned. So, uh, you should be able to determine whether that questioned part of the document is a reinsertion or another printer was used to do that. Okay. So, in page substitution, one or more pages of the original document were removed and different ones were inserted. For example, the signature of a deed of sale is left intact, but the remaining pages are replaced. For example, meron tayong five-page document. Pumipirma lang sa dulo, kadalasan. So, ang gagawin mo, aalisin mo yung, kunyari, page three. Papalitan mo. Magpiprint ka ng panibagong page three. Tapos may idadagdag ka yung gusto mo. So, kapag inilagay mo na yun dun sa five-page na document mo, Diba? Uh, uh, ang term na natin is substitution, pinalit mo na siya. So, as if, nag-agree din yung mga pumirma doon. Doon sa nilagay mo sa page 3. Kaya nga, kapag may mga ganyan documents, pinapipirma sa lahat ng pages. Para sure tayo na hindi magkakaroon ng uh, substitution. Okay. Okay. Next. 
in a multi-page document, pag madami daw document, is there evidence that one or more pages are prepared differently than the others? Magkaiba ba ang preparasyon? So as opposed to the previous question, this one involves situations where in entire pages have been substituted within a document. Yun nga yung buong page 3. But printed in the same printer. Kasi yung kanina, more than one technology uh, ba ang ginamit? Kung baga, dalawang printer ba ang ginamit? Dito, iisang printer lang pero magkaibang uh, preparasyon, magkaiba ang gawa. Yun ang kaibahan sa tanong na to. So, parts of the document can be checked for consistency in terms of spelling, punctuation, staple holes, formatting, etc. Yan, kunyari, staple na staple ka, ba? So, in-staple mo ng minsanan. So, isang butas lang yon. Kapag inalis mo yung staple wire, tas may nire-insert, ay may sinubstitute ka na paper doon. Sabihin natin, yung page string nga. At in-staple mo ulit. So, hindi mo naman masasakto yun, ba? Ang magkakaroon ng additional na butas. So, alam mo na iba ang pagkakahanda nung isang page doon. Kasi mas konti yung butas niya. Okay? Another technique may also check for chronological inconsistencies, such as when a question document printed in a four-color toner process was supposed to have been printed on a date when that type of printer was not yet purchased by the concerned office. For example, uh, itong five-page document natin, yung page one, two, four, and five, nakaprint sila gamit yung isang printer. Then yung page 3, nakaprint siya sa isang printer na hindi pa nag exist sa opisina nung uh, nakalagay yung date, dun sa nakalagay na date, doon sa document. So that's one way. Okay? Is there any evidence that text has been altered or added to the document? May inalter ba? May pinalitan ba? Examining alterations in computer-generated documents means determining if text has been altered or added in the same way that pages were substituted in the previous questions. Any discrepancies in the line spacing, printer technology, fonts, or layout in the question text may be proof that it was added by printer reinsertion. Discrepancies in line spacing, Printer technology, fonts, or layout can be checked to prove that a portion was added through printer reinsertion. If you can also remember sa type uh, writing exam, identification natin, ang isang rule doon, hindi mo daw maibabalik yung papel na saktong-sakto doon sa previous niyang pwesto. Ganun din sa printer. Uh, kung baga, makapagbibigay yun ng clue, i-check mo lang siya ng maigi. Are there any obvious or gross defects in the printing that might lead to the machine being individualized? May mali ba? May problema ba itong printer na makapagtutukoy uh, na ito ay kumbaga magkakaroon siya ng individuality base doon sa defect niya. Parang doon sa typewriting din. Di ba merong permanent defect? Yung for example, ah, uh, yung isang kumbaga may putol na typeface. Yari, yung letter P niya. Putol yung kalahati ng descender. So, dahil putol yun, madidistinguish na pag may putol na letter P, ah, itong typewriter na to ang ginamit dyan. Baka may ganun din yung printer. si check mo yon Gross printer defects are rare and problems could point to ink or toner cartridges, and other replaceable components. This means that printing defects evident in a question document can disappear when the defective components are replaced. Parang sa printer, di ba, uh, may mga pagkakataon na may linya-linya sa mismong letra na hindi naman dapat nandun. So, ang ginagawa, nag-cleaning lang. So, after maklin, maayos na ulit, wala na yung defect. Pero kailangan mo pa rin i-check lahat. Kaya nga sabi dito, yung gross printer defect are rare. But as a question document examiner, you have to check for everything. Okay. Examination of photocopied documents. Hindi Xerox ha. Xerox is a brand. 
photocopy ang term natin. The printing mechanisms of inkjet printers and photocopiers exhibit the same characteristics the same characteristics and therefore require the same method of examination. To identify individual copiers, the document examiner can do the following. Determine whether or not two or more copies came from the same machine. Determine whether or not a particular machine produced the copies. Determine the appropriate date of the copies. Kailan na i-photocopy ang isang document. Similar with the typewriter, a copier will develop its own idiosyncrasies with time and wear. So, habang tumatagal, uh, habang nagagamit ng nagagamit ang printer, nagkakaroon din siya ng uh, problems or individualities, idiosyncrasies. This could result in certain marks printed onto a copy. Uh, by finding and interpreting these marks, a forensic document examiner can associate a copy with the machine that made it. It should be noted Noted, though, that some idiosyncrasies in copiers could be eliminated by repair or service on the machine. In such cases, the document examiner could check the copier's repair record. Unique marks can occur in the platen or the glass imaging window of the copier. Yung platen, yung roller kung saan dumadaan yung papel. Parang sa typewriter din, may platen din, di ba? kung saan, pag may pinindot kang uh, key, may papalo, tas yung tumatanggap ng pressure. Yun. Yun yung plate yun, yung pinapaikot. Yung glass imaging window naman, kung nakakita, nakakita naman na siguro kayo ng photocopying machine, di ba, may inaangat, tas may dito mo ipapatong yung ipo-photocopy mo. Yung glass na yun, yun yung glass imaging window. Pag doon, sabi dito, marks include debris, Dirt and smudges from fingerprints or adhesives from tapes or labels. Because cleaning can remove the marks, it is prudent to obtain known samples prepared on the machine close to the same time as the question. Copy minsan. Uh, alam niyo yung mga, pag may finotocopy ka, may mga parang batik-batik. Pag chinek mo yon yung isang set ng finotocopy mo, kung pare-pare sila ng batik-batik, alam mo na iisang photocopying machine lang ang gumawa nun. Yun, yun, yun yung makatutulong sa investigation mo. Scratches could also result in more permanent marks on the photocopier's glass window. Baka merong gas-gas, yung glass imaging window. Makukuha din yon sa photocopy documents mo. Kung baga may linya din, may guhit din. Kung baga parang may gas-gas din yung papel or yung document na finotocopy mo. Sometimes, the rubber backing blanket that holds the original document in place on the glass window will reproduce marks on the copies. Yung sinasabi ko. Okay. That's it for Module 6.